Hey friends, Jason O'Dell here, luminescentphoto.com, and uh, it's time for a photo tip for April. Uh, I know we're kind of all indoors right now, so I'm going to talk a little about post-processing. And today what I want to do is, specifically I want to focus on a, a, a great tool in um, Lightroom Classic, and that's the dehaze slider. But I want to use it in a specific context, and that's going to be to fix a sky. So today, we're going to talk about the sky that almost wasn't. I was out shooting the other day. It was a little bit overcast, not too bad. There was a little bit of definition in the clouds. And what I want to do is I want to take this shot, and we're going to resurrect it and make that sky jump up with just using Lightroom Classic so that um, you don't have to go into Photoshop or anything else. So let's check it out. All right, I'm in Lightroom Classic. I'm using the latest version of that, and I've brought up my image. And what you can see is I've got a sky here that's pretty blown out looking. Uh, there is, though, there is some definition in the sky. And if you look at my histogram, I haven't clipped anything. So there's detail there. I just need to recover it. So I'm going to use a two-step process. The first thing I'm going to do is make some global adjustments, starting with the, the um, basic panel and the profile, the treatment, uh, color treatment, and I'm going to change my profile to reduce the contrast and compress this histogram. And then we're going to go in and fix the sky directly using some local adjustments. So in Lightroom, the default profile is Adobe Color, which isn't bad, but it can be kind of high contrast. If you switch this to a lower contrast profile, like Adobe Neutral, you can see that the histogram squeezes together more. Now this is very low contrast. So I'm going to do that, just switch to Adobe Neutral, and then I'm going to bring my highlights way down. And doing so, you can see I'm bringing out detail in the sky, but it still looks kind of blah. I'm going to make other adjustments here. I can adjust the blacks, I can adjust contrast, and let's maybe add a little saturation back. So now we've got this foreground looking pretty good. The sky still looks pretty yucky. Let's see what we can do. I mentioned earlier that my go-to tool for fixing a sky is often using the dehaze slider. Now, the dehaze slider is in the presence grouping uh, here in the basic panel in the develop module. So I can take that slider and just move it to the right, and you can see what it does. Moving it to the left, I get a nice foggy image. But there's a problem with this slider. When I move it up here, I'm creating a global adjustment and you can see that over here in the um, left side of the screen this is not very appealing I have to go back and fix that so let's not do that let's just make this adjustment apply only to the sky so to do that I'm gonna use a gradient selection tool because I've got a nice defined horizon here so I'm gonna click the gradient tool and I'm just gonna drop a gradient right here more or less on the horizon. Doesn't need to be very wide. You can just apply it here. To visualize this gradient, you can hover your mouse over it or just press O on your keyboard and you can see you can visualize it. Now, great thing here is I got most of the sky selected, but I still have this rock formation we have to deal with. So let's get rid of that. And to do that, just go over to your brush tool in the in the mask panel on the top of the uh, effects click brush, click erase, set the flow to 100, and what we want to do is check the box that says auto mask or press A on your keyboard. Then I'm going to use a nice large brush and what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint out but I'm going to make sure that my my cursor, that little minus that you see there, doesn't come off of the rock. So as long as my little minus icon there stays on these rocks I should be okay and auto masking will keep me from grabbing that sky. And I just paint over here. Doesn't have to be perfect, but you get the idea. I'll come over here and get rid of that too. So now we've got a nice little mask. I'm going to click O again to get out of the mask view, the overlay view, because now we're going to go ahead and make our adjustments. So we'll start by using the dehaze slider. So down here, I'm going to find dehaze and I'm going to just dial it up a little bit. Don't want to go too much. You can see it's really making those blues get kind of darker. So I'm going to back off on the saturation just a teeny bit because in Lightroom on local adjustment saturation is really vibrance. But you can you can play with this. You can 
fix your black point. You can adjust contrast on the sky. You can adjust the color balance. So if I want to make it a little bluer, I can dial in some blue. That's a way too much. But you can have fun and do this. I, usually on a sky, I keep it from looking too crunchy by dialing back on the clarity just a little bit to soften it up. Okay. And then you can fiddle with your white point. There we go. Now we've got a nice looking sky. And when you're done, just click close or hit enter on your keyboard. And there you have it. So let's quickly take a, a look at our before after. There's our before and there is after. And we can do it also as a, let's do it as a top bottom. You get the idea. So this was the sky that almost wasn't. I'm Jason O'Dell, and don't forget to sign up for my newsletter so you can get these tips in your box every month at luminescentphoto.com. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.